Today's topic is about fasting, upuasa. And upuasa fasting is called the miracle cure around the world. Fasting can cure a lot of diseases and have cured a lot of diseases. It has made a mind very sharp. It has made slow learners fast learners. The power of the eye increases, hearing power increases. Yeah, even the smell of can you even smell to end up kilometers far away, like the uh, Korean martial arts Chakuruki says, you can see to end of kilometers, you can hear to end of kilometers, you can smell to end of kilometers, all that is gone, because on one thing we refuse to fast. That was the Samskriti of our nation, our India. Yes, we practiced fasting. But before you start fasting, we go to the three, other two stages. One is the meditation, which I have spoken last time, Dhyana. And second was the Manubhrata, silence, and then you come to the fasting. When you understand, and when that is practiced in every house in India, you can see the beauty changes. Yes, in this COVID-19 lockdown period, it is good to practice our Sanskriti. So please practice. When you practice, it is difficult to start your fasting because you are not used to it. So what we do in Rakum schools is we ask them to skip one meal. That is the breakfast. And... Uh, the breakfast is a very dangerous uh, thing in our country. Everybody has to take breakfast because they have to rush up to the schools and colleges and offices. Now, in this breakdown, in this lockdown period, there is no, no rushing up to the uh, jobs or to the schools. So this is the time you can practice. So I told my students, we will get up at late 7 o'clock. So 8 to 10, 30, we'll do our yoga, karate, our dhyana, our pranayama, whatever it is. And 11 o'clock we'll have a brunch, breakfast and lunch mixed together. It's called brunch. And then uh, taking bath, washing clothes. 2 to 4 is our studies. And 5 to 6.30 we, we do our games. And 7 o'clock is dinner. It's 2 to meals. From 7 o'clock to next day morning, 11 o'clock, it's around 16 to 17 hours of fasting you get it. Like that you can start the attempt on fasting. Like the car, if the car is in trouble, you take to the workshop like that the body is in trouble you have to take to the workshop fasting when in fasting the body get a chance to repair what all has gone wrong when we do not do that when we don't give the body a chance to relax then what happens you are forced to rush up to the doctors to the hospitals that's where the damage happened so this is the best time to understand Sanskriti in our Sanskriti we have the Sattva Guna, the Rajasa Guna and the Tamasa Guna and our Fasting is comes under the sattva guna, yes, sattva guna, and it is the, called the acute, the, the acute, acute disease, the chronic disease, and degenerative disease. Three stages we go: heaven and the earth, man in the center. So when you practice meditation, when you practice maunavrita, when you practice fasting, I think the house is very, 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 very pure. Fasting, you must understand one thing. I have seen many religions, they make the people fast, but during the day they fast, at night they have a feast, and other religions, they make the people to take a lot of snacks. No, 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 no. Fasting is total silence, absolute silence. No food inside the body at all. I do the fasting, look at the fasting, I do it. I take uh, one glass of water from 8 o'clock to evening, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 one, two, three, four, five, six. All one hour, I take one glass of warm water. I add one one drop of lemon and one drop of honey to cleanse up the internal system. It cleanses up. You can do one day fasting, two day fasting, three day fasting. It depends upon. But take advice from somebody who knows about fasting before you start a fasting. Or a lot of books available. You can Google downloads and see what how to start the fasting. But please fast in this season. When you fast, you feel very very healthy, feel very light. First time you start seeing the truth, yes. And in COVID season, it's best to not make people cook throughout the day. Skip a meal, skip two meals a two two meals a day, etc., etc. It's very, very healthy. Yes, fasting is very, very good. In India, we had a system that morning sunrise and sunset. Sunrise, we go out to the field to work, and sunset only we come back. When we go out to the work, then on eleven o'clock, the wife brings the Gaji or water or food and the man takes it and when sunset man comes back taking bath and then he has got his food meals and the Britishers came they said morning what did you eat and the people said no we are not supposed to eat without any work we fast in the morning then after 11, around 11 o'clock then we get the first meal and the British said fast 
Now break the fast. I don't know whether that is true, but this is what I heard. It. Break the fast. The day you broke the fast, all diseases came to India, came, came to our body, and a lot of hospitals were forced to open. I'm not telling you skip your breakfast when schools, colleges are there. You can plan a strategy, but this is what we do it. I, I practice it regularly, only two minutes. Uh, one is 11 o'clock, one is 7 o'clock. The Zen master, the 80 year old head of the monastery, used to do a lot of work, especially in the garden. So all the disciples came and told the students, look, your master has been doing at this old age, why should you allow him to work? Why don't you give him some rest? So all the students went and told the master, look, everybody is scolding, please do not work, we will take care of everything. The master refused. So the students, what they did is they hid all his equipment. Master refused to come out one day, passed. Two day pass, three day pass, four day, five days, Master was not eating. And the student got scared, this old man might die off and the blame will come to us. So they all went and gave his equipments back. The Master took all the equipments, went to the field, he worked, came back and sat in the dining hall and said, No work, no food. Our Sanskriti, we are practicing. We have to practice. Good chance to practice. When we practice, the house is healthy. Our body, this body, Externally we are cleansing, internally we are not giving rest. Now give internal body also a rest and that makes us very, very strong. First time we found our diseases have been brought down. First time we see the clarity. We are talking like a philosopher. Yes, we feel compassionate to anything and everything. We, we First time we feel of sharing. Practice these three things in this COVID-19 meditation. One, dhyana. Second is silence, manubhrita. And third, now what I say to the puasa. That makes us very, very strong. Our Sanskrit is now back to us. God bless you.